Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. It's time for the December 19th reveal of Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. If you have the advent calendar and haven't looked at the December 19th item, you may want to pause the video. We'll find number 19, the very lower left hand corner. Open it up and there's a bunch of sentiments. I'll remove the paper wrapping and it looks like we have a sentiment stamp set. I'll grab my piercing tool so I could pop the stamp set out of the box. Then I'll hold up the sentiment on a piece of white cardstock so you can see the sentiment. We have a thank you and it's a little bit larger. Then there are three smaller sentiments. For the lovely gift, you made my day and for all you do. The pattern paper I'm using is from Doodlebug Designs Hello Again Collection. I will be using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from Sketch Saturday. It's number 740. For the background of my card, I have some light teal cardstock, and I've already embossed the background using Spellbinder's Tiny Dots embossing folder. I selected three pattern papers for the strips that go diagonal on the left side of the card. I have this beautiful butterfly design, some tiny flowers, and a tone on tone pink pattern. The strips are wider than the card. I'll put adhesive on the back, adhere all three strips down, then I'll flip over this panel, use my scissors, and trim off the extra. For a little bit of shine and separation between the three pattern papers, I'm adding Love From Lizzie Peel-Offs. This is the teal mirror color in the pinstripe style. For the outside too, I'm using the widest width, and on the inside, I'm using the narrowest width. I am leaving the peel-offs just a little bit longer than the card panel, then I'll wrap the ends around the back. The teal mirror color peel off is one of my favorites and it matches beautifully with Doodlebug's Hello Again collection. I'll add the final peel off. Now I'll wrap the ends around the back, put ATG tape on the back and layer this piece on some black cardstock. My emboss panel is five and a quarter inches by four inches and the black layer is an additional eighth of an inch. So five and three eighths of an inch by four and one eighth of an inch. I'll put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. I've already stamped out the sentiment, thank you for all you do. I'll layer both of the pieces on some black cardstock and off screen, I'll trim them out. For the second part of the sentiment, I did cut the left side at an angle following the design of the card sketch. And I'll do the same thing for that black cardstock layer. Once I cut out the black cardstock layer, I'll flip over both of the sentiments, put foam dimension on the back. I'm using Honeybee Stamps black foam strips. But first I'll cut the left side of the sentiment at the same angle. And I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch for the cardstock layers. Now I'll add the foam strips on the back of the sentiment. The foam is a one millimeter thickness, so it doesn't add a lot of dimension. I'll remove the release paper and add both of the sentiments in the lower right hand corner following the design of the card sketch. Using a scrap piece of black cardstock, I'll cut a small banner. First cut a fishtail on the bottom, then I'll cut the right side in slightly at an angle, flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. I'll put glue on the back and adhere it in the upper right hand corner. Now I'll pull out my wooden bowl of gem stickers that I've been using throughout the advent calendar cards. I'm using some of the clear gems and I'll put three in the lower right hand corner around the sentiment. So there is my finished card using the December 19th item from Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. I will have links in the description box for any items used that are still available. Be sure to come back tomorrow for the December 20th reveal and a card. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.